this, but it could have been. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, so they they go down the hall and. Okay, they don't really hear someone say buck. All right, that was. Uh... <laughs> oh, that wasn't real? <laughs> that's, one of the, that's one of the jokesters of the uh, host of the <sighs> Unbelievers podcast. But so they walk down the hall and they hear a creepy voice when he asked if anyone was there go, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Did we like... step on that part of the clip? <laughs> it's fine. They're going to play right. it, it back. It was at... impossible to hear. But you'll... It, yeah, doesn't, they... it doesn't yes. matter because this show has nothing but time to kill. Like I said, it's four hours and they're going to go on. But yes. so yes. Zach and Dakota, Zach and Dakota together. They've left those dudes with Lily. They're not even, they're like, I say even, this is the ratings are uh, dropping like, like sacks of shit in a fucking <laughs> Joshua P. Warren convention. Let's move on. So <laughs> they move on to the next spooky item, which is Be- Be- convention. Bella Lugosi's mirror. So, with Dakota, so let's hear when That's they spooky. go down. Let's go. Let's hear what happens when they take Dakota to Bella Lugosi's mirror. Yeah. Okay. So this mirror came out of Bella Lugosi's house. There was a guy named Frank Seletri that was brutally murdered inside of Bella Lugosi's house. Uh, you know, later on after Bella died, Bella used this mirror for scrying. I'm going to open this up. The entity inside this mirror literally plagued a family and strangled a girl and traumatized <laughs> her. And this is what we're going to focus on right now, Dakota. Okay? okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I just, I just, I've never been back in this room. I don't, okay. I don't come to this room. So, yeah, I guess Dakota's got some history with this mirror already. But they bring up that somebody else strangled someone in front of the mirror. Why don't they just call it the that guy mirror? That make would make it spookier to me a, a killer right. yeah yeah strangled somebody and traumatized somebody else like whoa whoa strangling i can handle but you traumatized somebody else and now and I'm, I'm gonna scared. i'm gonna sound a little uninformed here but what he said bella lugosi used it for scrying what yeah. what is scrying what is that Scry- dude oh oh, oh no I mean, Drea. you don't know what answer. scrying yeah. is oh Go no I, I, I thought that we all knew what it was scrying is when you look into something and you try to divine answers about the future or current situations oh Oh, okay yeah so So uh fun fact about brianna uh for christmas last year she made me a scrying mirror like a black matte painted uh Uh... for scrying oh that's cool and how has that gone for you jude are you able to scry now I can't sleep ever. Did he choke you? He, he, uh, yeah, because he's a Dracula now. Because he's doing Bela Lugosi shit. All right, <laughs> he has a Dracula wand. But, so before we hear more about the mirror, okay, what was that weird voice in the hall? Nerve center, activate. Calm down. Um, before we get started doing the Bela Lugosi's mirror, I want to go hey. back to something. Dakota, get over here. Get over here, please. I'm going to be nice today. I'm just really amped up. Yeah, okay. I so crazy. I want to say something. When you and I were coming down here, mm-hmm. okay, we were down in the hallway. Yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I need you to listen to this really quick, okay? okay. Listen, listen to what happened. Do you hear me? Yeah. Okay. When Dakota and I came down here, I heard something down the end of the hall. At that exact time... I heard a yes. You heard a yes, yes right? Oh, yeah. As Hopefully. clear as day. You sound like a person. Disembodied voice. Mm-hmm. And that was a yes. So nerve center, go check the audio, and I want to see if you captured that. Because yeah, I heard a crystal clear yes. I did, too. It sounded like someone standing right there. Like, that was, that was insane. Yeah, that was insane. It's freaky, dude. Okay, so, and, and, and if, if, if nerve center gets it, I want to hear that voice. Yeah, okay. Me too. Dakota, come here. Okay. Okay, get yeah, Dakota, Dakota, come here. Yeah, this guy's so bossy, man. Like, I know you're paying all these people anyway, but God, you don't have to sound like it. Dude, he's yeah, it's he, such he sounds a jackass. He sounds like a prick. <laughs> bossy was the word. Bossy was it, where it's like, whoa, okay, I guess we're doing everything. Yeah, I get it. It's your museum. But he's like, get over here. No, over here. No, stand right here. Okay, stand here. Why are you moving? Why are you over there? I, I, you just told me to be over there. Yeah, but be over here now. <laughs> yeah, oh, to everyone. so cold. 
to Zach, everyone, <laughs> everyone in his team is like some slacker, and he's like, "Go over here, do that." Hey, nerve center, what, get your thumb out of your ass and play this. So, <laughs> well, yes, sir, yes, so, sir. Sorry, sir. So, You're so nerve center, nerves. nerve center salutes. They get their thumb out of the ass, and we hear the voice in DVP, and it says, "Yes, it's what." Let's hear it. We hear a direct voice phenomena, DVP. Now we're going to go over to audio specialist Mike. He'll tell you what we caught. DVP. Uh, okay, so uh, this is a really rare phenomenon to catch, uh, such a clear voice saying yes. What you'll see is uh, Zach calling out saying, is there somebody here? And you hear just a clear as day yes. So we'll roll that clip now. Is there somebody down there? What? Is there somebody down there? Yes. What? <laughs> I what? said yes. Is there somebody so down there? Stupid. Yes. yes. What? Wow, You're, that's Funny. really cool. Yeah. You really, yeah. Yeah, that's remarkable. Again, EVP is a term is of disembodied voices. When you're asking the questions and you only hear it upon playback, this is the holy grail when you can actually hear direct voice phenomena. We've got all kinds of stuff going on. We'll throw it back to you, Josh, and let you know when we find more. Oh, my God. Okay. So now we've got DVP from PP saying that, is there somebody down there? Yes. Yes. Is this what <laughs> yes. Now, yes. Th- we've heard the guy that we think sounds like P.P. Warren. That's Dave Schrader, host of Midnight in the Desert. Let's hear what Joshua P. Warren sounds like when he says the same thing. And some of the footage is remarkable. Ugh. Is that you, Dave Schrader? No, let's hear my clip of Dave Schrader saying the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's remarkable. Again, Evie. <laughs> Again, it's crazy. Yeah, like I said, yeah, that's this... remarkable. Again, EVP. Oh my god! It's my favorite funny. Pokemon, Evie. <laughs> Evie from PP. And some of the footage is remarkable. Man, if only Schrader oh. wore glasses and pulled them off at the same time, it would be so perfect. All right. Now this guy sounds better. I I, I like this guy more than PP. I respect Dave Schrader, especially that he, man, he he is a way, way more like trusting and uh and well spoken guy, and, and you just don't doing his he, job, and he's not a sack uh, of shit. Yeah, but he's also he's also in the nerve center of this mess we're in. So, yeah, all right, paid. hey, he's getting paid to do this. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah, that's remarkable. I can't hit on man for taking his job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So look, so Zach ends up leaving his friend in there. So Zach goes back to check on the guys with the Lily doll, and nothing happens. So he returns to poor Dakota, who's been left alone with I, his mortal enemy, the Bell Lugosi mirror. And uh, let's uh, let's hear what's happened in the time since Zach left Dakota. Dakota, you okay? Don't do that. You're on live TV, Dakota. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. You're scared. Are you okay? Yeah. I don't like. I, just, okay. I closed the mirror a long time ago. I want to. You what? It. I closed it a long. Why'd you close time. it, dude? That's, that's not a good idea for me to be in right it? now. Whoa. It's. I'm, look, that just said like two minutes ago. The whole vibe changed in here. Yeah. I feel like. I feel it definitely being different in here than it was when we first got in here. I'm just like shivering, shaking. I just want to get out of here. What the hell is that? So, so Dakota can, you know, be kind of abused by Zach, but he, as soon as Zach leaves, I guess he he closed the, the there's a, like a like a curtain covering the mirror, and as soon as Zach left, he just closed it and was like, "Yo, yeah, fuck this! I'm scared of this thing, dude." You <laughs> well, look the alone. Good for him. No, good for him. You know, he's the only one so far that I've witnessed like to well, to Kyle stand step up to. Him. But oh, but he did say he's like, oh, I, I left it on open for a minute and then I closed it. It's like you know what, you don't have to, Dakota. Dakota, look at me, look at my eyes, Dakota. You Dakota. don't have to listen to Zach. You can do whatever you want. You're being paid. He's your employer. You don't have to stand for this shit. Poor Dakota. Yeah, for now, the dude lets out like the longest obscenity probably ever on live television. <laughs> no, all of those bleeps are starting to hurt so my ears. Long. All that of beep is so long. <laughs> long. Rob, can you just play Fuck. the beginning of the clip and then pause it? Because I want to hear how long that 
get curses. To go. You, you Don't okay? do that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, mother of Mary, son of a fucking goddamn holy fucking shit. <laughs> I was just imagining so one long F word, like, ah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's it's so crazy. So yeah, he had um he had left with the mirror. The dude just covered the mirror up. Okay, so so they end up having to mess around. Like they're in the dark still, as of course as always. I don't know why they're looking at a mirror in the dark, but Dakota has a flashlight pen, and and Zach doesn't know how it all it works. They finally get Dakota's flashlight to work. And now it's time for Zach to, as he is wont to do, shout at the devil. And he screams at Bela Lugosi's mirror. <laughs> are you causing my friend here to be nervous and scared? <laughs> no, I've you are. I've seen what you've done to my guests. <laughs> I've seen what you've done to my friends. If you have the power to come out of that mirror and attack us, do it now. Let the entire world witness this. <laughs> Let me see you. <laughs> it's a mirror, dude. <laughs> it's, You're just looking just right at yourself. it. Yeah, let me see you. Are really you right? Safety right, right now. Are you affecting us? Let us see you. <laughs> I'm using provocation right now. Just to try to provoke this entity that has done nothing but bad things. That's why I'm doing this. Zach, do you yeah. think maybe ever at any point something's provoking you because you do bad things? On the other side of this mirror, on the other side of that wall, I have another mirror. <laughs> so that this can be an open portal. Oh, Zach. Oh, my God. You're a self saboteur. No, yeah. I didn't know that sound clip was still going. I didn't oh, that was, it was so perfect. Going. I thought I thought wow. you were in the museum for no. a second. I was like, I don't remember hearing this. So yeah, every time mirror. So he puts a mirror on the other side of the wall to make it a a portal or something. Like I don't I don't get that mirrors probably. are not portals. I don't. No, I know man. you guys, you guys talking about scrying and everything, but he's like no, that. That would be like putting a, a door that opens to another door that opens to a wall that doesn't make any sense it's so yeah, stupid this is like when you're getting a haircut and like you can see yourself in the reflection of the mirror the mirror behind you going down a hallway of infinite mirrors right yeah that's more of a doorway than what yeah, this it's yeah. just an optical illusion it's not uh some scientific way to discover if bella lugosi is going to turn to a bat and fly out of the freaking no, mirror no, no. get you this guy's just yelling even... at himself in a mirror yeah, they did just, he graduate I'm high not school making or, excuses or college for or anything? Did he graduate elementary school? I'm very, very on the edge of, like, believing that this guy has any credentials whatsoever besides, like, I can dress good. Look at me. I don't it's, know. He has glasses, it's, Drea. Mm, true. I'll say, I have not watched Ghost Adventures in years. Now, I used to really like the Ghost Hunter guys who were, the like, the rotor rooter dudes who converted their van and would go hunt ghosts at night. Because most of the time, they would tell the people that they were wrong. And if they did mm -hmm. find something, they took note of it. And it wasn't so – it wasn't – there wasn't that much showmanship. The guys seemed like they didn't even believe in ghosts, which was kind of positive. Right. They but took out the drama part. They did. And they would always present the evidence and be like, look, we didn't find anything. And uh, this stool flipped over because you have an AC unit that kicks on at this time. And, it's you know, they were strong they, AC. Yeah, they seemed logical and grounded. And then their show, their writers must have been like, yeah, you got to amp this up. So they kind of stepped back and had their like, like minions doing things for them. So I watched Ghost Adventures that came out. I always called this guy the ghost screamer because this dude is always <laughs> just like, what are you done with her? Leave her alone. He's always just screaming, as he calls it. I like how he has to make up his own term for what a dick he is to ghosts. He calls it provocation. Yeah, right now I'm doing provocation. Show yourself. Well, I want to ask Dan Aykroyd. Bad. Dan Aykroyd probably knows way more than this dude. He'd be like, is provocation a real thing? He's like, no, this guy's just a dick who like screams at ghosts all the time. No, provocation is no. a real thing. Provocation is a real thing, but just like in the way that you and I as humans know it, it's going to get you punched in the face. Right, but it's not a paranormal term. No, like, this no dude not at just all. Like, oh, well, and the third rule of paranormal is to scream at them. It's not. It's, that doesn't, it's not how it works. I don't Show care. yourself. Yeah. 
So he the guy's yelling at a mirror. The mirrors are portals, whatever. So shortly after this, Zach gets a quote unquote sick. And he bosses Dakota around some more while he takes some pictures. He takes pictures of his scared 